Hi friends, today we will see about predictive scoring for the patients, what we are using in the ICUs. Predictive scoring systems are the measures of the disease severity that are used to predict the outcome, typically mortality of the ICU patients. As we know, the critical care is a complex multidisciplinary speciality is designed for all type of patients with a critical illness or injury. In addition to the clinical observation, the scoring system are being used at the different stages of their hospital treatment. The scoring system helps us to quantify the severity of illness or injury on the basis of anatomical, physiological and the, the biochemical variables. Then classify the patient in specific risk group. Let us see the commonly used scoring system in the adults. For the first day scoring, these are the scoring system we are using. Acute Physiology and Chronic Health Evaluation. We call it APACHE. Simplified Acute Physiology Score, SAPS. Logistic Organ Dysfunction Score, LOADS. Mortality Prediction Model, MPM. Repetitive Scoring System. For the repetitive scoring, we are using these uh, scoring systems. Organ System Failure, OSF. Sequential Organ Failure Assessment, so far. Organ Dysfunction and Infection System, OD. Multiple Organ Dysfunction Score, MODS. These most frequently used scoring systems are Apache and SAPS. Let's see what are the main points in that. Apache Scoring. It is developed in 1981 by Navos and colleagues. It is an acute physiological and chronic health evaluation of critically ill patients. There are four versions of Apache scoring available, but most commonly used second version of the scoring, Apache 2, which is developed in uh, 1985, which monitors 12 physiological parameters as well as age and comorbidities. The score varies between 0 to 71, then we estimate the prediction and express in percentage. Apache 2. The 12 variables were selected based on the clinical judgment as the validity and the specificity of the measure, maximum coverage of the vital organ system and the objectivity, relative reliability and the frequency of the measurement. The 12 variables include heart rate, mean arterial pressure, respiratory rate, temperature, GCS, variables derived from venous blood such as hematocrit, WPC, serum potassium, serum sodium, and serum creatinine, variables derived from ABGs such as pH and PAO2. Here we can see little more details about the Apache 2 scoring. For the age points, Let's suppose if the age is less than or equal to 44, the score will be 0. And uh, likewise, the age is more than or equal to 75, the score will be 6. And in between 45 to 54, 2, 55 to 64, 3, 65 to 74, 5, like that. And for the chronic health points, if the patient is non-operative or emergency post-op, and any conditions below means here it is written cirrhosis with portal hypertension, encephalopathy, class 4 angina, uh, chronic hypoxia, increased CO2 or uh, polycythemia, chronic dialysis, or immunocompromised patients. The score will be 5. Of if the patient is elective operation uh, and uh, any conditions, as I explained before here, the cirrhosis uh, like that, the score will be 2. So the main point here, if the patient is emergency post-op or non-operative, plus this disease, cirrhosis and all, the score will be 5. If the patient is elective operation, the score will be low, like 2. And uh, the acute physiologic score, uh, the 12 variables as we saw in the previous slide, here it's written here and the temperature, heart rate, mean arterial pressure, uh, respiratory rate, uh, PO2, potassium, sodium, creatinine, pH, bicarb, WBC, uh, hematocrit, GCS. 
so here the normal range if the value following between the normal range the score will be zero as it is going low the score will be going leftwards like one two three four here and if the score if the the value is going upwards the score will go like this one two three four let's suppose in the temperature if the temperature normal the score will be zero and the temperature as it is going down to the 85.9 Fahrenheit the score will be 4 if it is less than 85.9 the score will be 4 and the score uh, if the temperature is going upwards like equal to uh, or higher than 105.8 the score will be 4 so for all the variables like that and the total Apache score is age points plus chronic health points plus acute physiological score the total sum of this will give us the Apache score and apart according to the score how we are calculating the mortality percent percentage here uh, if the score is 0 to 9 the mortality chance is 4% as the value of the Apache score is going up, the mortality chance also will go up. If it is more than 34, the chance of mortality will be 85%. A very simple way to calculate this, we can see many websites and applications in the internet. So just give the required values and press the button for calculate. Then you will get the results. Sub scoring. This was first developed in 1984. In this, score obtained in first 24 hours of ICU admission by assessment of 14 physiological variables, but no input of pre-existing disease were included at the beginning. Then revised versions 2 and 3 developed where it includes pre-admission health status and the age of the patient. Now whereas SAPS 2 is being used widely, the score ranges from 0 to 163 points. Here we can see little more details. So according to the SAPS2 scoring, the mortality chance. If the score is reaching to 29 points, the mortality, mortality chance is going to 10%. According to the uh, values here, uh, is going upwards to 77 points, SAPS2 score 77 point means the mortality chance of the patient is reaching to 90 percent here we can see the sigmoidal uh, relationship between the mortality and the subs to scoring here we can see the the score is reaching between 60 to 60 to 80 the the mortality predicted mortality chance is going towards the 100 percent it's touching here almost Okay. The ICU scoring systems provide a valuable framework to characterize the patient's severity of illness uh, for, for evaluation of the ICU performance, uh, QI studies, and uh, benchmarking or the comparison studies. Hope you enjoyed this topic. See you soon with the next topics. Bye-bye.